There are many ways to be good at Fortnite. This is the aggressive play style. Hey, running and gunning. Making massively clutch plays. Basically, showing to all your friends and teammates. Being aggressive has its way of paying off. You're not only constantly pushing people and having a blast playing Fortnite, but hey, you're also showing everyone your skill. What's best about the aggressive play style is the fact that you're constantly fighting and improving your skills. Hey, so please don't think that this play style won't work for you if you're not any good. And that's one of the cool things about it. It doesn't really matter if you're good or bad, playing aggressively will always pay off in the end. Think of the pros, for example. Okay, people like Ninja and Tifu are always dropping 20 to even 30 plus kills a game. This is because because they've been playing aggressively since Fortnite came out. This is what made them so good and what continues to keep them on top of everyone who plays to this day. In this video today, we're gonna be showing you guys a pro guide on how to master the aggressive play style. So just know that this play style is demanding and can only improve with time, so be patient and get ready to drop some 20 bombs. And if you need further help perfecting your aggressive play style, check out InstaPro to have a skillful coach guide you through the right techniques and decisions. All right, guys, this is Keith Allen. Let's get this thing started. So the first thing you want to do when you're transitioning from a casual play style to an aggressive one is to change your mindset. Whew, very important. Your mindset can have a huge impact on the way you play Fortnite. Being confident and knowing you're going to get the kill and not doubting yourself will always, always help you in those close fights against advanced or skilled players. Think of a time when you ran into a player that you instantly knew was very good. This could have either have been a player who was building like a god, was in the kill feed, or is even a well-known player you recognized. Have you ever froze up in these situations? Or started shaking even? And then lost the gunfight and thought to yourself, oh, man. I wish I didn't freak out. I know I could have beaten you. Well, this is exactly what you want to tell yourself next time. But before you even start fighting, believe it or not, Knowing that you can beat someone before the fight even starts is a major part of being an aggressive player. Being confident enough to pull off those fast edits, clean, accurate shots are a must when you're pushing opponents or even squads. Now that you know the mindset, let's get into the actual gameplay tips. Yes, pushing players isn't always easy. There are many aspects you must consider before you push up to one or multiple opponents. But the first thing you must look for is map awareness. Before you engage, take a look around you and check out the area you're in. What are possible sides you could be third party from and what are good spots of natural advantages you can use to get an edge over your opponent? For example, let's say you're rushing someone in Dusty Divot. Most players would rush into the Divot and go, blazing at their opponents. But if you use your map awareness, you'll set up shops somewhere near the edge of the Divot and finding angles to take shots at your opponents. Getting those first few shots off, whoo, it's critical to taking out an opponent. Getting first shot will not only weaken an opponent, but it will also buy you time to formulate another plan of attack while they're stuck in one spot, bandaging or drinking shields. Besides map awareness, having a plan of attack is very important when it comes to pushing enemies. Okay what this means is essentially predicting what your opponent is going to do before they do it. How? Well, using your critical thinking skills. Look at the area. Think of who you're pushing and consider every possible way they can react to your push. For example, if you're pushing an opponent that you know is very skilled at Fortnite, you might expect them to build up and approach you with fast builds. Now that you know this, you can expect their next move. So prepare for it by being ready to throw explosives or use a weapon in your arsenal to counter their builds. Fortnite is also a very versatile game, okay? So so there's other ways to counter their builds. You could use shadow bombs, launch pads, or even attempt to build fight the opponent. So just keep in mind your position and make sure you're not going to get third partied. Which brings us to the next tip. Positioning is a major aspect of aggressive play. Being able to push up on someone with great aggression relies heavily upon where you're putting yourself in different situations. Think of the last scenario. If you could see an opponent trying to build fight you, you must take your positioning into great consideration. There are good places to be and bad places depending on the scenarios. If you have gliders, launch pads, rifts, or shadow bomb, then you can most likely engage in a 1v1 build fight with a skilled opponent. Just keep in mind that there is a chance of you guys getting shot down or third party, which is why you need those items to save you from the fall. What's really cool about positioning and map awareness is that they can go hand in hand with each other. Knowing where third parties can come from and what areas of the map are good for pushing an opponent from are all info needed for good positioning. Think of it as this. Map awareness is the knowledge and positioning is using that knowledge to your advantage. Okay, so how would I know where I'm going to get third party from? Well, one neat thing about Fortnite is that there are many hot drop spots that concentrated amount of people go to. 
The predominant locations are Tilted, Salty, and Paradise. Before even dropping off the battle bus, look at where the path of the bus is going. By utilizing the bus pattern information and your knowledge of the most popular landing spots, you'll be able to guess which side their majority of players will be rotating from. By using this knowledge, hey, you can guess where the third party will come from. And you can actually position yourself to avoid being the third party's target. By putting your opponent in between yourself and where you think the third party will come from, you're setting the opponent up for an imminent death. Hey, they either die to you or get third partied and die to you. Using third parties to your advantage is a key aspect of aggressive play. A lot of players tend to play Fortnite aggressively. So by using their blind aggression against them with your thought out and planned aggressive attacks, you'll always have the advantage. Third parties can make or break your game. So make sure you're absorbing the information we just gave you. Using the tips we mentioned in this video will ensure you're at the peak performance of aggressive play. Now, for the next part, we're going to be talking about how to find players to push. One of the main problems good Fortnite players run into is not being able to find players to push. Not being able to find players takes away from the purpose of being aggressive. Because what's the point of being aggressive without anyone to aggressively push? Okay, so the best ways to know player locations is by utilizing game sound. And once again, the battle bus. Seeing where the battle bus is going through will give you a good idea as to where most players are landing, as mentioned before in the video. Also, keep in mind that dropping early will get you closer to more opponents, as most players aren't very patient when it comes to waiting for the battle bus, so they tend to jump early. So, the first thing you want to do when your game starts is look for the first hot spot that is close or on the bus path. Make sure you're timing your jump perfectly as getting close to weapons first is a necessity for being able to W key players off the start. The beginning of a game is one of the best times to secure fast and easy kills. This is because most players haven't gotten weapons, healing items, and, and are just most likely lacking good loot. And a lot of them are just sorting out their inventories and can be caught off guard quite easily. So making the early game the perfect time to be aggressive and rack up those eliminations. Make sure to take time to heal up if you take enough damage though. Running around in the early game with less than 100 health can be deadly as you're an easy kill to almost any weapon in the game, whether it's a sniper, a shotgun, or AR, a headshot, or just a few body shots can end your game and send you back into the lobby. Please make sure your shields are priority in the game, and but don't put all your attention on that. Keep in mind guys that having good positioning and knowing where other players are can keep you from taking any damage at all. By placing yourself on the perimeter of a fight can make sure that you're not the target of anyone's shots, effectively making you the third party. Third parties are a great way to play aggressively. You know why? This is because most players that are being third party have already been weakened by their opponents and are also being fought by someone already. This makes both opponents very confused and can make getting those two kills much easier and more efficient. So don't be afraid to be third party every once in a while. Third parties can even get you guys up to 12 kills in solo squad scenarios where there are multiple squads battling it out in front of you. Third parting is a great way to secure kills and people and should never be thought of as something negative. In fact, I mean, you want to be third partying people for the majority of your game. Keeping your ears sharp for gun sounds, footsteps, and explosives that are being made from fights. A pro tip for engaging in third parties is to always place yourself to the back of one of the two opponents fighting. This will allow you to quickly finish off one as it's almost impossible for an opponent to fight off two people that are directly in front and behind. Now, once you've eliminated the first, go ahead and finish off the second as they're already weakened from the fight. They'll most likely need to met up, reload, and reposition. Do this while you're fully healed, in good shape, and fully confident that you're going to secure the easy kill that lies ahead. Now that you've learned the best tips for the alpha aggressive playstyle, hey, go into your game, 
with full confidence that you're going to win, knowing that you know more than everyone else in the lobby. Hey guys, don't forget to stay confident and don't ever back down from a fight. Go out there and start practicing. Know that you are now fully knowledgeable of the pro secrets and tips for learning the best method of playing Fortnite. Hey, we wish you the best with your Fortnite grind and hope you the best with your mastery of the aggressive play style. Hey everyone, once again, this is Keith Allen and we got some stuff coming out, so please connect with me on my Instagram. We'll see you soon.